Back. So this time we're doing valid parenthesis, right? Make sure I pronounce that word right. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. All right. Um, well, we have to look for valid parenthesis, just like we have to look for a valid job that doesn't stress you out and uh, you know this uh, damage your mental health. All right. Anyways, let's get started. Start count now. It's 15 minutes. All right. So given a string as containing just a character, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, left curly parenthesis, right, left bracket, bracket parenthesis, and right one. Determine if the input is valid. An input string is valid if open bracket must be closed by the same type of brackets. An open bracket must be closed in the correct order. So let's see the examples. We have this parenthesis is true. This, 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 true too. Makes sense. However, the parentheses here don't match. This is a, cur um, a curve parenthesis and this is bracket one, so false. And this is false too because of these mismatches. Okay, and well, however, this is correct because, you know, the curve basis match. So let's look at the constraints. The length is 1 to 10 to the power of 4, so it's not that big. And S consists of parentheses, only these three. Okay. So we don't, so we, it, it's cleared out that we don't have to consider scenarios outside of these, uh, this, outside of these characters. Okay. So that makes things uh, much easier for us. Um, I guess, um, Okay, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So um, I guess we can um, we can get started. So I think what we need to do here it's a very typical stack approach. So we will iterate through each character, and uh, we for each character we'll put it into a stack, right? Because essentially we are checking if the current if the current character we are going through, right? If the current character has a match, has a match in the previous stack. So it's first in, last out, right? Because um, whenever you see a new parenthesis, I mean the second half of the parenthesis, you have to clear it out with the first half in the stack. Okay, so we will go through each character and see if the stack, the, if the top of the stack has the pairing one, right? So if it's the first half, we'll add it to the stack. If it's the second half, we'll pop the top of the stack and see if it has it's a matching pair. Well, if not, we'll put it, um, we'll put it to the stack. So. Second half, if it's the second half, we put it to the stack. Um, uh, if it's the first half, but don't match, we'll put it to the stack again. And if it's if it matches, then we'll pop the we'll, we'll pop the uh, top of the stack. Okay, so it's very simple. But first of all, we need to make a map with all the pairings of these. Okay, so, all right. So what if it's empty? Uh, for now, let's assume empty is valid, is true. Okay, so, so in the, first of all, we need to make a dict, right? It's um, uh, it's character match. Character and sorry. Um, then you have these. It's okay. So well, it's kind of annoying. What's happening? 
Alright, uh, I'll fuck it. Okay. Let's copy this. Okay, so we're done setting up the, the dictionary. Now, what we need to do is we're going to go through every single character. So um, there is a um, building method for each. Uh, or you can do for char in um, string. Um, it depends on your preference so or you can you know if you wanna make the code looks a little bit in a different way not I was gonna say complicated but it doesn't make it complicated for each character in this but um, I guess for now um, I'll just do for This should be curly braces, huh? Okay. Why is it a little bit? Okay. For each character in. Hmm. So for each character in S. First of all, let's see if if it's empty or not. If it's empty, we'll append it. To okay, so like I said, if it's not empty and the last one, last element in the stack matches the current character, then we will pop the stack. Um, and uh, all else, other scenarios, we'll just push push the stack, push the character to the stack. So if um, well, first of all, we need to create the stack, right? So, If stack is empty, if stack is not empty, and stack last, now last is uh, optional, so we need to because we are sure that this is not empty, so last. Force unwrapped is saved. And dict stack last is equal to the current character. And then we'll do stack remove last. It that's and that I think that's how the function works. It, it it's it's remove last. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Else, we'll just. Um, append the current character and at the end we'll return if let's return to see if stack is empty 
So it should be empty if when it's true. I mean, it, it should be empty when all of the parentheses are valid. So let's see, we have five minutes left. Has no member for each. Wait, what? String has no member for each. Wait, fa. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I just. <laughs> Whoo! I I was gonna search. For each. Oh, it capitalized. Stupid. Yeah, like I said, I come from I. I come from a Java background, so if you went to my channel, if you go to my channel, uh, you notice that um, most of my coding challenges are written in Java, and I just started Swift two month two weeks ago, so I'm still pretty rusty on this. Okay, all right. Um, seems like it works, and uh, let's see if we uh, if this will work. Okay, accept it. Perfect. Wow, faster than 90.34% of Swift online submission. All right, cool. Anyways, uh, I think this is a very um, uh, interesting question. It's easy, but I think it's useful. Uh, one thing is that um, there is no stat, and like if you come from a Java background in Swift, there is no stack implementation so there's no built-in function for stack so basically you have to treat you have to operate a linked list like a stack so um, that's why you we are doing an array because um, for Swift there are a lot of um, helpful methods built into array so so we have append remove last and you can do a hundred percent stack operation with a linked list uh, in Swift so um, I think that's a takeaway take away from um, from this question um, anyways um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time